All righty, guys. Let's take a look at what we got here. Time value of money. We got Grandma. How you doing with that walker? I like Grandma's sneakers. You got to love those sneakers, right? All right. And who's that? Tim Garrity? I don't know. Maybe back in the 70s. But let's see. Grandma says to Tim way back when, and probably in the 1930s, hey, Tim, if you pass the CPA exam, I'm going to not only give you $5,000, but I'm going to give you $5,000 on the day you pass the exam. And then I'm going to continue to give you $5,000 for a total of five payments. So what we're going to want to calculate time value of money is the future value of an annuity due. So what will Tim have in the future if his grandma gives him $5,000 on a day he passes the exam and then cuts four more checks for $5,000? So really what we'll be doing on the exam is we're going to be looking for a future value factor for an annuity due for five years at 5%. And then the future value, obviously, we can see we have gave you $29,009. So the key is... If it's $5,000 on the day he passes the exam, it begins immediately. So we're looking for future value factor, not of an ordinary annuity, but of an annuity due because the first payment happens immediately, beginning of the year, as soon as he passes the exam. Don't use the future value of one because grandma's not just giving Tim a check for $5,000 one time. She's going to give him five checks for $5,000. And obviously, if they gave you any present value factors, that would be distractor information. Okay, let's take a look at another example. Oh my goodness gracious, someone's gonna buy a 100 inch big screen TV and it's yours for only $125 per month for 60 months, 12% annual percentage rate. So we wanna know what's that true cost. So obviously anytime you're trying to find a today's cost, we want to know, well, hey, what's going to be the present value of all these payments? So remember, unless they tell you otherwise, the 125 per month, ordinary annuity. So I would be looking for the present value factor of an ordinary annuity. Remember, if the first payment starts today, then it would be present value factor of an annuity due. But when they say nothing, we're just going to be making these multiple payments that are identical of 125, present value factor of an ordinary annuity. So let's see. Payment, we've got 60 payments of 125. So we've got $125 as your payment, 60 payments, and now 12% per year. But if we convert that to a monthly rate, a periodic rate, we take 12% divided by 12 months, we get 1% per month. So we would be looking for present value factor of an ordinary annuity for 60 months at 1% per month. Okay, and then we could find the present value. What's the true cost of that TV? So in terms of the timeline here, notice the 125 doesn't start immediately. It starts at the end of the period. So that's the present value factor of an ordinary annuity. You certainly can't just take the 125 times 60, the $7,500. That's not the present value. So that's the sum of the undiscounted. Okay, future cash flow. So we don't want the 125 times 60. We want to take each $125 payment, discount it back to today. Thank goodness we don't have to do them one at a time. So we'd just be taking the $125 payment and then multiplying it by the present value factor for that ordinary annuity, corresponding to a monthly rate of 1% per month and 60 months. Insofar as Tim getting that $5,000 from his grandma, Notice that first 5,000, you see the CPA, congrats, that first 5,000 happens today. And we're looking for the value in the future. So again, because the first payment happens today, what are we looking for? Future value factor of an annuity due. First payment begins immediately. So again, that future value factor, you enter your payment, you know your payment is 5,000. Then we want to multiply that by future value factor of an annuity due, and then you get your 29,009. You don't have to separately calculate the future value of each individual payment, but that in essence is what the future value factor of an annuity due would do for you. All righty, now let's actually practice some with problems. Let's do it, baby.